Now from this point we can go ahead and uh, duplicate the wing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the, uh, the master wing layer and I'm going to duplicate that with control D. And then I'm going to make the mass visible again. And because I've already animated these, I'm going to need to reverse the mass for all of my keyframes. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to snap with shift to uh, that set of keyframes. And I'm going to hit control T. Well, with the layer selected. I'm going to select all these masks first. Oops. Make sure I've got all my masks selected. Now if I hit control T, I can transform it. And I'm going to uh, keep an eye um, down here on my transform values, and I just want to scale that 100% um, in one direction. It doesn't have to be precise, so you can get pretty close. There we go. And then I'm going to move these masks so that they're an equal distance away from my center point as uh, my previous wing was. And I'll do the same for that set of keyframes. Scale it 100% horizontally. That's close enough. Move that over. And then one final time. There we go. So now everything should work perfectly. There is only one disadvantage to this though, and that uh, if we go to our, um, our wing controller now, I actually need to name this. If I um, add a bend, uh, everything seems to work fine, but the moment I hit the bend cycles, uh, we see that they're cycling in the, the wrong direction. So we want to go to our, our master wing expre expression for our uh, bend axis, and I want to add a minus onto the front of this. And that reverses the value and gives us uh, the effect that we've been looking for. So now when I animate those cycles, everything works together much nicer. And if we rotate the camera around this again, we see that it's working fully in 3D and our feathers are going forward in a nice little way there. So now that that's done, um, if we wanted to, we could uh, add effects on top of that. Uh, we could um, normally what I do is um, I use adjustment layers because um, the one disadvantage of this effect is because um, each wing is using its own 3D space, um, we run into some problems with the composite and the overlap. If I make this wing red, for example, and if I rotate the uh, the camera around the wing, we can see that that wing is always being drawn on top, and there's no real way we can get around that. We don't notice it when the wing is white because it just all fills together and it looks fine. But if you're going to do any kinds of effects on each wing on its own layer, that's where you'll start running into trouble because it's not getting drawn in the proper order in the After Effects 3D space. So what I do instead, if I turn that back to white, is I'll use an adjustment layer to add any effects. So I'll name that. And then I will, um, I, I tend to like to use the, uh, the star glow and the, uh, the shine effects from trap code as well for that. So I'll go to trap code, star glow. And we can find uh, a nicer color map for that. We could try that. Give it kind of a nice warm, orangish look. And maybe turn that down a little bit so it's not as obtrusive. And we can try adding uh, shine to that too. Set that to normal. Turn it way down. And change the color ice a little bit. And that just gives us a variety of different effects. Uh, you can do pretty much whatever you want. Um, for this example, I just added a uh, black um, star glow onto it, and uh, it turned out very nice. 
the final technique I'm going to cover is I'm going to how to be able to get them to wrap around your composite. Uh, here I just have a still image, but you can have an actor that's either been rotoscoped or chroma keyed. And um, basically, I, I've just got um, I've got the uh, my uh, footage, my still photography, and then I have my wing layers. And you can see uh, right now it's being drawn over my um, the the actor, and I wouldn't want that, so I've got um, the actor cut out and just uh, rotoscoped here with a mask. But there is a way that you can um, get the the wings to um, bend around your actor. If I do it right now, we can see that it's it's not coming in front of her, it's, it's just staying in the back, and we don't want that. The way you can get around that is I made two additional wing layers. And the first thing I did with these was um, I deleted the masks that were closest to the body. And um, that allows me to basically just have the tips of the feathers that I want. And then, if I start from scratch here, I'll just duplicate that wing. What I want to do is I want to change it to a color, color that I can see. And then I want to turn up the start value so that it's just showing the tips of this wing. And then I can see you know, the red on the black. I'll turn the thickness down until it's about the thickness that it should be. And I can turn it back to black. And then by doing that and deleting the strokes that are the closest in, again, it helps to, to color code because I can just delete the purple ones and the black ones here. And then you end up with something that looks a little like this. So when you composite these on top and you bend these, these tips are what's going over your actor, but you still have the bulk of the wing that is behind the actor. So all together, when you bend it, um, you get a nice composite. Though you can't, you have to remember you can't necessarily mix your effects. So like right now I have it bent, but I also have the folding animation. So if I slide it forward, it, it breaks the illusion and I can see that it's um, not rendering properly on top of her. So you kind of have to plan ahead on, on how you want to do things. But that's um, about it. That's the, the total effect. And from here on, you can uh, take this null object and you can track it to your actor and do all sorts of fun things. That wraps up this tutorial. I apologize for it running so long, but I hope you got some interesting techniques out of it. If you have any questions or you want to show off what you've done with the effect, please feel free to uh, either email me or you can find me as Ionic on the uh, CG Society or VideoCopilot.com forums. Thank you and have fun!